Hey, there's a few things I wanted to emphasize a little more than I did in the first two parts of the these videos and that is how the heat is absorbed and transferred we didn't get into that too much in the first two so let's take a look at we reviewed the refrigeration cycle but the one thing we didn't talk about is the room air and that is at 75 degrees Fahrenheit and that 75 degree Fahrenheit room air is being pushed by the evaporator fan or the blower motor across the cooling coil so we have 75 degree air passing across the cooling coil here that is at a 40 degree Fahrenheit saturation temperature that 75 degree air is going to cause that refrigerant to change state and boil and remember from uh, our law of thermodynamics heat flows from hot to cold or or to less from heat to less heat so we have 75 degree Fahrenheit air and that those molecules in motion that heat energy is transferred into that refrigerant and that heat is entered into the um, refrigerant itself while it's changing state and if you remember that changing of state takes tons and tons of heat energy so all of that heat energy is absorbed right here on the other half of the cycle you see that the saturation temperature is 125 degrees Fahrenheit in the condensing coil the outdoor air temperature is 95 degrees so while that is hot to us it is cool in comparison to the 125 degree coil so the condenser fan is blowing the 95 degree air across the coil the condensing coil and as the refrigerant changes state from vapor to liquid all of the heat that was absorbed over here in the first half of the refrigeration cycle is now being released and transferred from the condensing coil and the refrigerant into the 95 degree air because that heat flows from from hot to cold all right so that is how we move and that's where we get the def definition of uh, where refrigeration is, and that's where we move heat from a place where it's not wanted which would be inside the home to a place where it really doesn't matter which is outside of the house and it moves and it does that just by tra picking up the heat in the house and dumping it out, out, out outside. All right, hopefully that makes sense and clarifies the first two videos. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next module.